Hi everyone, it's me, Tommy, and today I'm going to be making this video to talk about the French artist and writer Jean Cocteau, with a specific focus on his line drawings and how these developed. So one of the first things you might recognise in Cocteau's drawings is the similarity with Picasso's work, and that's no accident. Cocteau first met Picasso and became friends with him in October 1916, when he invited Picasso to collaborate on the ballet parade. Cocteau planned to stage this ballet with his friend Serge Diaghilev, who was the Russian director of the Ballet Russet. So they invited Picasso to help with the look of the ballet, and the music was composed by Eric Satie. At the time, Picasso was experimenting with a bold painting style that was often very linear as he combined his traditional interest in figurative painting with his development of Cubism alongside George Braque. Cocteau no doubt admired Picasso and was influenced by his economy of gesture and the uninhibited immediacy of his process. The use of line was also present in the work of the composer from Parade, Eric Satie, and Cocteau describes how Satie's music differed from the Impressionist music that had come before. Satie avait fait ses études à la Scola Cantorum. Et il, était il vivait parmi les impressionnistes, mais il, sa musique s'opposait à la musique impressionniste parce que, au lieu d'être euh, euh, floue et, et frissonnante et, et, et en sourdine, euh, sa musique était euh, linéaire et sans sauce, sans sauce, sans voile, au point que quand les musiciens d'orchestre répètent les parades, ils croyaient répéter de la musique de Bastring. J'étais obligé d'aller chercher Ravel, d'amener Ravel, pour qu'il leur dise que cette musique était une manière de chef dœuvre Cocteau's description of the music as a linear stylistic masterpiece shows his love of the line, and we can see how this comes into his drawing practice. So what was Cocteau's inspiration for the ballet parade? The anecdote from art history tells us that Cocteau was inspired by a comment that Diaghilev made when they were out walking in Paris one day. When Cocteau complained that Diaghilev was being too critical and judgmental of his work, Diaghilev simply replied, Etonnez-moi, or in English, astonish me. So there is the line and the need to astonish his audience. I think Cocteau's most fabulous works on paper can be characterized by their powerful use of a stylized line and his bold and provocative imagery, following the same spirit of the ballet to create an astonishing visual surprise. His own life was also filled with surprises that were often deeply tragic. Parade was staged during the First World War and later he suffered a personal romantic tragedy. The earliest tragedy in his life being his father's suicide, and later his lover Raymond Radiguet died of typhoid in 1923. Cocteau was distraught and turned to opium. He was treated for three months in hospital for his addiction between late 1928 and early 1929. This led him to write the book Opium, The Diary of an Addict, based on his notes from the experience. As well as this book, he produced 40 ink drawings on paper in the series titled Opium. Later in his career, Cocteau made an incredible series of illustrations for his friend Jean Genet, who he helped get out of prison. These illustrations for Pharrell de Brest later inspired the costumes and aesthetic for Fassbinder's 1982 movie based on the book. Check it out. Come on, touch it. Bullshit. You haven't got one. Go on, touch it. You'll feel it all right.
nothing. You call that a hard-on? Come on, press it. It's a monster. Sure, the cloth makes it bigger. Reach inside, you'll see. Open it. You'll see I'm not lying. Andy Warhol designed a poster for it, and his use of line was also inspired by Cocteau. Along with his close aesthetic relationship to Picasso, Cocteau has also been described as a neoclassical artist for his use of ancient Greek and Roman motifs, such as laurel wreaths, lyres, and mythical creatures. I think the neoclassical influence in his work can be traced back to works from the late 18th and 19th century by artists such as Anger. and perhaps most closely the English artist and draftsman John Flaxman. I don't really know if Cocteau was looking at John Flaxman's work, but it seems so similar that I think he must have. We know that Picasso was very influenced by new archaeological discoveries, and it has been shown that his cubist figurative works were inspired by African masks. Some of the patterns in Cocteau's later drawings also feel somehow indebted to these cultural histories. Like Picasso, Cocteau's drawings, and particularly the profiles, function almost exactly like a written signature, and therefore I'd like to call his aesthetic an autographic style. Many artists working today are also engaged in developing an autographic style, perhaps as a way of standing out in the market. And many artists working today are comparable to Cocteau, if not directly descended from his school of queer honesty, combining subtlety with passion and the development of an iconic signature style. I'll finish with some examples. So first I'm going to show Geo Black Peter. Leon Poznyakov. Louis Fratino. And Salman Tor. Thank you for watching and leave a comment if you've got something to say, maybe an artist you think was inspired by Cocteau or someone you think inspired him. Thanks again, bye!